Hi everyone, it's Miss Goldman. We are here for our 27th lesson of Eureka Math Module 5. As always, I am teaching these lessons live at 11 o'clock every day, school day. And these are the recordings. If you missed the lesson, which I'm really sad that you did because I would have loved to see your face and hear your voice from you. And also please remember, the PDF version is attached, so if you are printing these out lesson by lesson, please make sure you are trying to save paper whenever possible. And if you are printing these out, make sure, as always, to send me the pictures of the work that you are doing so that you can get credit for it. And remember, if I'm going too fast, you can press pause at any time. So let's get started. So for this first problem, you can see I did one half and you're going to do the other half. It says use the pictures to model equivalent fractions. Fill in the blanks and answer the questions. So this first one is asking us 4 6 is equal to, and I said 2 thirds, so I shade in 4 6. And I can see it lands here, which is the same as right here, which is 2 thirds. So I can say 4 6 is equal to 2 thirds, and the whole stays the same. Now, it's asking us over here, what happened to the size of the equal parts and when there, when there were fewer parts? So I wrote, the size of the equal parts when there were fewer parts is bigger. Because, as we can see, less parts, bigger piece. And then over here, what happened to the number of equal parts when the equal parts became larger? The number of equal parts, when the parts became larger, also became a smaller denominator. And as we see, bigger parts, smaller denominator. So now you're going to do the second side. And those questions are asking you to do one half is equal to blank and eighths. And what happened to the size of the equal parts when there were more equal parts, and what happened to the number of equal parts when the equal parts became smaller? All right, we are going to go over the answers. So here we're going over the answers for that other half. So as you see, I started with one half is equal to four eighths. So we colored in. We know it's four eighths because when you shade it in to make it look the same, it's four eighths. So one half equals four eighths. So what happened to the size of the equal parts when there were more equal parts? The size of the equal parts when there are more equal parts become is it becomes smaller and what happened to the number of equal parts when the equal parts become smaller the number of equal parts when the equal parts become smaller is the denominator becomes a bigger number so let's keep going so for this one it says six friends want to share three chocolate bars and um that are all the same size which are represented by the three rectangles below so we have those right here um, when the bars unwrap, the friend says that the first chocolate bar is cut into two equal parts. The second is cut into four equal parts. Sorry, that's not the best to make it equal. But we know, too, I'm, do, we're, I'm doing this quickly right now, and you're going to do this 
nicely. And the third is cut into six equal parts. So I'm helping you out again. How can the six friends share the chocolate bars equally without breaking any of the pieces? So this is going to be your job. So take your time to solve this problem. All right, and we're gonna go over the answers. So as you see, the first thing I did, which is what I was showing you to do, is to cut these three chocolate bars evenly, and then I shaded in what looked like half, because I didn't wanna break it, into more pieces. And then, as you see, I started noticing that they all are similar, so I said the friends can figure out how to make everything equal. One half, two fourths, and three sixths. So there are six friends, so if you look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of broken up chocolate for all the friends to eat. So let's keep going. It says, when the whole is the same, why does it say take six copies of one eighth to equal three copies of one fourth? Draw and support your model. To show your answer. So this is what we've done before when we draw this, these out. We did something similar to this before. So we have our eighths. There's our eighths. I know they're not the best. You're going to make them look better. You're going to take your time and not do them as quickly as I am in, for this video. And you are going to figure out this answer. So take your time and keep going. All right, and we're gonna go over the answers now. So as you can see, this is my answer. So I drew it out and I showed you also what one fourth is versus one eighth. So I wrote, why does it take six copies of one eighth to equal six, three copies of one fourth? Well, because one eighth is half of one fourth. This is similar to a lesson in an activity we did the other day. So let's keep going. So it said, when the whole is the same, how many six? does it take to equal one third? Draw a model to support your answer. So again, same thing, but now we're using one six and one third. Take your time.
So we are going to go over the answers to this. So for this answer, I wrote one third is equal to two six because as you can see when asked how many six does it take to equal one third? Well, with them drawn out again, right underneath each other, side by side, we can see it takes two sixes to equal one third. All right, let's go on to our last problem. So it says, you have a magic wand that doubles the number of equal parts, but keeps the whole same, sorry, but keeps the whole the same size. Use your magic wand in the space below, draw to show, so you're gonna draw, what happens to a rectangle that's partitioned into fourths? So remember, fourths and rectangles are key. After you tap your wand, and remember, it doubles. So I'll give you another hint. Four times two equals eight. So you're going to draw, I would draw these again, both of them. And you're going to use your words and numbers to explain what happened. Take your time. All right, we're going to go over the answers. And as you can see, I drew and I said the pieces become smaller and now and now there are more pieces because here's my fourths up here. And here it is doubled as eighths. So that was our last poem for this lesson. And as always, I hope to see you in our live lesson tomorrow at 11 o'clock. And stay smart, stay safe, and stay the gold medalist that I know you are, and go for the gold. Bye.